Chef Shahir is cooking some steaks. Let me tell you something. The only way to cook a steak, in my opinion, now if you want to take it out in a barbecue, that's fine, but true purists cook their steaks on cast iron pans. Why? Because it has the best temperature retention of any pan out there. All right? Yeah, we love copper, we love stainless, we like all those things, but there's a lot of things that are inherently wrong with those pans that don't make them last, all right? Copper is incredibly expensive, right? And you're never gonna get a solid, if you get a solid copper pan too soft, right? Stainless steel is a great industrial plan, but it doesn't conduct heat that great, right? What you want is cast iron. Cast iron is the best way to deliver temperature to anything you're cooking, which makes it wonderful for steaks. Blackening fish, like salmon, things like that, because it gets up to that high temperature. It's oven safe to 500 degrees. It has the incredible ability to sear anything. Shrimp, scallops, it's great for casseroles, stews. Do you like beef stew? Temperatures are gonna go down. You sear the meat all in one pan. Veggies go in, and you have the most delicious meal. Short ribs. Any chef out there worth their weight, right, is gonna cook their short ribs in a cast iron pan for a bunch of reasons. One, it's the best way to cook it and get the best flavor. You get the best caramelization. It gives you the best uh, fond in the pan, which gives you the reduction for your sauces. It's never been easier. Now, if this pan was $99, I would not bat an eye. Because I've paid for a regular one that you have to season, you know, a traditional um, cast iron pan that you have to season, and you gotta put it in the oven, you gotta salt it, you gotta put oil in it. Those pans are $100 all over the place. We are doing it, a deep four and a half quart brazier in cast iron, non-stick, with the lid, and the handles, the little silicone handles, because it has two lids so you can bring it to the table. We're doing this whole thing for $34.99. It's a steal. I'm gonna buy one today. I think I'm getting it in the blue, because I don't have a deep, I have a regular one, but I don't have a deep one. So, if you pick up our pan after today, it's $74. Those little silicone handle covers, which you can use on a bunch of different things, but you can use them with the pan because this pan has two helper handles and they are not attached. They are part of the pan and they match the pan. So you're gonna get those two. Let me go through colors. Might as well start right up here. This is called the rose, 400 left. This is our blue and it's a really good cobalt blue. This is the one I'm gonna buy today, okay? We also have it in the red. That has been the most popular color. We have it in black. So if you don't know, if you're buying this as a gift, great color because it doesn't have to match, right? We also have it in, I think we're calling this teal. It's a great color too. You do get the lid. And notice how the lid seals with that little gasket right inside so all the drips go back in and there's a little steam valve to allow the uh, heat and uh, moisture and steam to escape. And then finally, I have it available in white. Chef Shahir is here with us. He's been with us here since midnight last night. Dude, good to see good you, to my see friend. You. How are you? Bro, you know, right here. This that is, is it. why you buy a That's cast. It. Come on in close, guys. Look at the chicken, guys. Look, Look at, at that. The crust. Mm. I don't know if they can hear it. That's it. Hear that crust? Look at it. Look at that. And the even color, guy. We love cast iron because yeah. it gets hot, stays hot. You get that even heat retention, totally. right? Totally. Any other pan, steel, aluminum, etc. When I add cold chicken or a cold steak to any other pan, yeah. the temperature of the pan drops. Immediately. That's why if ever you've seared something at home and you've gotten spots of brown and spots of gray and it's kind of steaming and not really getting crusty, because it's not cast iron. Perfect. So cast iron, number one. Perfect for heat retention, getting hot, staying hot. But you've never seen a non-stick cast iron like the one that we've got. When I seared those two ribeyes, got the beautiful crust. Look at that them. beautiful, even color, like in a steakhouse. And then you saw me with a towel. Wipe it out. Yeah. Clean. Look That's it. These. Look at you these You could steaks. never do that with I a cast iron. I don't know if you iron. can see. Look at how beautifully juicy. Perfect. These are, I mean, they are perfectly cooked. And that dark brown color on the top, yep. that is where the flavor is. Those inherent sugars that are in, and proteins that are in meats and fishes and, and you yep. know, even some of the sugars that are in fruits and veggies. That yep. caramelizes and gives you that great flavor. Even veggies. When yeah. you do your veggies, broccoli, cauliflower, potatoes, sure. in cast iron, sear them high and you get that char, you get that color. Salt, pepper is all you need. All of a sudden you're like, whoa, caramelization of veggies, pork chops, chicken, fish, non-stick, yeah. even skin on, like my chicken thighs, are not sticking. A sticky teriyaki sauce, not sticking. Right. Nope. So you don't worry about cleanup, and I often say, guy, if you're worried about cleanup, you don't reach for the pan. 
Right? You, you, you kind of dread it. And you don't have to. You kind of cook with reckless you know abandon here. You know what, Chef? You know what people do? They go to the local store and they buy a $20 crappy nonstick fry pan. Yeah. Let me just tell you, okay? I, I was in the restaurant business for 18, 20 years, whatever it was. This man's dedicated his life to it. <laughs> Those are the worst, it's the worst thing you could do because mm -hmm. you're gonna get hot and cold spots. It's gonna yep. be paper thin. It's a throwaway pan. This is cast iron. Most of you will have this pan the rest of your life, okay? Because cast iron is built to last, all right? You know, the old witch's cauldrons, things like that that you see, those are all made out of cast iron, right? <laughs> the original pans were made of cast iron. This is way before stainless steel and all that other stuff. All that. And stainless steel was created, you know, in, in cookware because it's a durable metal. You're not gonna find more durable then cast iron. The reason people got away from cast iron yep. is it was a little bit difficult to, to maintain. Because it didn't have a coating, you had to season it, you had to rub it in oil, it yep. rusted. These are not going to rust on you because the entire interior is coated. You've got an enamel coating on the outside, but the base layer inside is all cast iron. And by the way, those handles are brilliant. I love helper handles on either side yep. because you want to do a big round lasagna, and you take, take it to the it, table. Take it to the table. Yeah. Stove top to table, oven to table. I'm going to show you a pot roast a little bit later on. The handles are great because this is a presentation item. You can take it to the table without burning yourself or letting your guests burn themselves. And then, Guy, you talked about the lid. The lid is so smart because that silicone ring makes it airtight. So if I want to poach these eggs in a spicy tomato sauce, one of my favorite breakfasts, you can poach eggs. If I want to braise or steam, like right, I'm going to do later right. with some clams, yeah. you're doing all of that. Look, it captures all that moisture. Now this is a little teriyaki vegetable that I'm gonna spoon onto my steak. And look at this, non-stick completely on the bottom. Even the stickiest teriyaki sauce. But also note that when I went in with the sauce, after removing the steak, wiping it clean, the temperature went to a boil right away. Yeah. It keeps its heat perfectly and evenly. Well, I wanna show everybody a pan that's clean. Uh, I've got the blue one yep. over here. If you guys don't mind following me over, because I wanna, I wanna break down some of the parts. First of all, this is not a featherweight pan, okay? Wow. This is not a lightweight pan. It's not heavy, but it's not a lightweight pan. That's on purpose. Cast iron is not aluminum or tin, okay? Which are very flimsy soft metals. This is a metal that's going to last, and because it's thick. I love, don't you love that sound? That's a good sound. That's it. You know, it's, <laughs> thank you, Andre. It's not, it's not me banging on the side of my head. It reminds me of like when you watch old movies in the westerns and they ring the dinner bell. That's right. Right? On the cook. <laughs> Heavy, do, because that was cast, that was a cast iron triangle they were using. But it's the heaviness of it. If you come in really close, we've added an incredible layer of seasoned nonstick already inside. Yeah. You can't yeah. hurt this. Notice that the handles are part of the pan. They're not stamped on. They're not even riveted. They are, they are actually part of the pan. Look at how much the bottom, you know, a lot of times they'll put a ring yep. Of, yep. of steel yep. on the bottom. This entire thing is cooking surface. So what you're getting is you're getting the entire bottom of the pan yep. heats up and it doesn't heat up in spots. 99% of the cookware that's on the market is not completely flat on the bottom. And it gets spotty. And right. you're right. And right. we haven't cheated the cast iron element of this, but then with that nonstick coating, couple things. One, Beautiful. you get that easy cleanup. That's why I was able to wipe out my pan after a hard <laughs> sear. Two, because of that nonstick coating, I can cook with acidic ingredients like wine, tomato, sure. uh, lemon juice. Yeah. Old school cast iron, you can't do that. Couldn't do it. Acidic ingredients interact poorly with real old right. school cast iron. Yep. So you can do it that way as well. But then also, one thing we haven't touched on, Guy, Watch the this. sheer size. So this is four and a half quarts. It's three inches deep. This is three pounds of pot roast. And you, look, oh my, oh my gosh. That's falling apart like look butter, at this. dude. Your pot roast, your pulled pork, you wanna do a roast chicken, even a roast turkey. That's why you braise. That's why you braise. Right there. And you, and I know you're an old restaurant guy, so you know the, you know the talk, man. You, bra oh, you, you sear it first. That is crazy. Get the caramelization, get look that at, marred reaction. Look at, then get the wine, the aromatics, the potatoes, at, the veg. Look, look at, at the this. Veg, look at the potatoes. Look at the onions and the carrots. I mean, can you imagine on a cold fall evening? Yeah, this whip, is it. Whip yourself up some mashed potatoes or some egg noodles, right? And put some of that pot roast over there. Yeah. You can do a variety of things. It's not just for slow cooking or three hour, four hour cooking. You could bake a pioneer, upside down cake. You could do cobblers that. in here. You could do a whole roasted chicken or a turkey. 
seafood dishes, blackening, which is, oh, people don't do that anymore. It was real hot back in like the 80s and 90s because yeah. people weren't getting cast iron pans. You really can't blacken in a stainless steel pan. It just doesn't have that kind of temperature retention, no. right, without burning the, the steak. Look at the cleanup at that. from Chef Shahir right there. And by the way, those are those silicone handles that we give you to protect your fingers and when my you're fingers are, it out of the th oven. This thing is yeah. super hot. In this same pan, we've seared the steaks okay. high. Then we wiped it out totally clean. I did the sticky teriyaki sauce. Even a sticky teriyaki sauce you're gonna wipe out clean, no problem, and you can keep going. You're gonna notice as I keep cooking, the, the pan stays super, this. super hot. Look at this. Look, I'm just And there's apart. that pot roast, which I love. Hey, if you want to do your so, corn, do your corned beef and cabbage in here, okay? Yeah. If you want to do, you know, pastrami, whatever it is. And then remember, because we cooked it all together, the potatoes, look at, look at the potatoes. They've absorbed some of the liquid. How good is that going to be? Carrots. Everything is done. Look at the little glaze that's on them. Everything is perfect. The nice thing is, chef, we've only used one pan to make that entire meal. Absolutely. Right? So I love that even as your casserole, as your brazer, as your roaster. Again, a roast chicken dinner, your pulled pork, oh my God. your pot roast, you know, your stuffing come holiday time. One pan meal, absolutely. But then you're talking about poaching, braising, steaming, searing. I love that they gave me free reign. Go to hsn.com. I developed yeah. a ton of recipes with pictures for this cast iron so that you get it home and you start. You can bake with it. I did a focaccia and a cobbler. I mean, even heat is universal for any cooking method. You yeah. want it to be even, right? Look at this bite. See this bite I'm gonna eat right here? Yes, man, look, look at that. this bite. <laughs> it's the perfect bite. I'm gonna wait till you get to me. Somebody gonna get my picture of my... I don't know, you guys see? Come on, <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> look at that bite. You guys can't even That's see it, it from man. that far away. You gotta come in, I've got potato, I got uh, braised beef. Look at, look at, look at, look at. You ready? Watch. I'm going, I'm going slow. <laughs> Guy's done, everybody. Guy's done. I, I got this. I got this. Dude, that, is, that is so ridiculously good. Because of the lid. That seal on the lid allows you to braise, keeping in the steam. You know you're that, poaching, you're braising. You, you know what that reminds me roasting. of? My mom would do this, like in, in November. Yeah. November yeah, yeah, yeah. and December, my mom, because we didn't have a lot of money. My dad was in... She was a coach and a teacher, and my mom worked in a bank, and then she was a headhunter. But we, when we were all in school, we'd come home, and this would be in the oven. Yeah. And you know, we, all played, we all played ball. We would polish that thing off in like 10 minutes. My mother would be like, how can you eat that much food? And that's comfort food, though. But that's we comfort food, it. right? We loved it. That's what you want. That's what this pan is. It's a comfort pan. That's, it's I mean, a that's comfort exactly pan. What it is. It's a non-stick pan. It's your brazier. It's your casserole dish. It's your fryer. I mean, wait till you see when we fry. We talked about fried chicken. Yes. Why is that so impressive? Because when you add cold food to your hot oil, it's not gonna drop. When you braise, your temperature's not gonna drop. When you sear, your temperature's not gonna, look at those eggs. Oh, Uncover those eggs the eggs, look good. God, they look good. So you're gonna start poaching eggs in there. You're gonna start even cracking normal eggs in there. This yeah. is now your non-stick pan. Look at this beautiful breakfast. As we head into Ooh. holiday time, and you wanna take something stove top to table. Look, look at, at that. that, look. Just put it on the table. I've never done egg, uh, eggs Boom. in a red sauce. Is eggs that in like a spicy one your, red sauce? One of your recipes? Man. I gotta try that. So look, and remember, we're taking it right to the table and you can see how that heat retention, it's still boiling. It'll set it's hot for half an heat. hour. All right, I'm gonna go through colors and I want, to cool. use, I want everybody to show you some more stuff. So come on back over here. I will tell you one thing. This is the last today's special cookware piece of the year, right, Andre? This is it, okay? We may do some appliances and things. We're not doing any more cookware, individual pieces like this. So get it while you can. Colors, white, teal, black. We also have it in red. And Chef Shahir brought up a good point. If you're buying it as a gift, get the white or the black. Yeah. They, you don't have to worry about what color somebody's kitchen is, right? We also have it in the blue. That's the cobalt blue. This is the one. I'm going to buy this after the show. I love that blue. I got to get it. Yeah, yeah. That's great. How many left, Andre? 900 left of this. Okay, so I, I, well, I got two shows. That might be close. And then also I have it in the rose. You never see this. You never see that color. And every one of them comes with a lid. Every one of them comes with the two little, and I'll show you, these come off. See how those come off? Perfect. And you could use these for the other things, right? That you can fit them in. Uh, 400 of the, of the pink are remaining. So if you wanted to try to buy this somewhere else, if you could, but this is our own brand, um, you pay as much as 75. That's, that's ridiculous, because I think that, that price should be, could be up as high as $159 yeah. for a pan like this. 
We went low with $74, okay? 12 bucks for the covers. Normally you get those, right? And they'll be like, oh, and by the way, for an extra $15, we didn't do that, we included them. 86 bucks or today, you can spend less than half on our today's special. Look at that price, $34.99. By the way, if you get a brand new HSN credit card, we'll take $10 off. Get it on for $24.99. All the things that we've cooked to show you the versatility of this yep. pan, you're always gonna win with pot roast. Love it. And by the way, if you're not a great chef, probably one of the easiest meals you'll ever cook. And economical. Yes. So that's a pretty cheap cut of meat. And in right. a day and age where, you know, food costs are rising, 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 braising is a great technique because you're taking those lesser cuts, the shoulders of the, of, you know, the cow, yeah. and braising it and making it tender. Use the lesser cuts, sear it, braise it with the lid on, get that seal so you trap it in. Mm. That's how we poached the eggs. That's how we steamed and braised the pot roast. That's how we're gonna steam so some good. clams for a pasta. The lid is half the battle and it's so great because it's airtight, keeps it in. And also, by the way, guy, look, metal utensils. Yeah. No problem. Don't baby it. Don't baby it, it's not gonna scratch. So here we've got some fennel, some onions. We're gonna go in with some clams. And like I said earlier, because of that nonstick, I'm cooking with acidic ingredients like wine, yeah, sure. like tomato, like lemon juice. Old school cast iron, you would never cook with highly acidic ingredients because it doesn't react with the old school cast iron. Ours it does. So here you go. You sweat out those veg, those aromatics, get the clams, and then lid on, airtight seal. Those clams are gonna open up in about even, four minutes. You can't hear them. You can't even hear them. That, that's like they're, tight, they're beautiful. You can't hear the bubbling. And that is going to allow these to steam, and also it accelerates the cooking time, right? Totally, like, multifunctional in terms of steaming, braising, frying, poaching, baking even. Check out those recipes online. Yeah. And look over here in terms of quantity. The four and a half quarts, look at that pasta bake. By the Huge. way, I want to I remind everybody, we have those uh, the choice of the, of the uh, covers, the steamer covers that you can get. The item number is right over uh, next to Chef. Uh, the item number, uh, what's the item? Eight three three seven four five. These are perfect. They're they're um, they have a, a wire frame on the inside, and they sit right over the pan, so you can keep everything covered. They're Brilliant. awesome splatter guards yeah, and splatter guards. great trivets yep. as well. Look at this guy. Look at the huge pasta bake. And guys, I don't know if you can get this shot in the bottom. Tomato sauce, sure. cheese. Might have to turn it. Look at a this. A little bit like that. It is completely nonstick. Look at the bottom of my pan. Cheesy, tomatoey, nonstick. Sticky teriyaki, non-stick. After you sear, non-stick, you wipe it out. Even this little sweet applesauce that I've got going on with my pork, talk about fall. Non-stick, like even as that brown sugar and rosemary is caramelizing in the bottom of my pan, nothing is sticking, you're getting perfect Look color, perfect chicken. heat. The chicken is the best. I mean, can you imagine? Come on. I, again, mashed potatoes, yep. cauliflower, whatever it is you want to have yep. with these. Look at how beautiful everything is done. Look at that sear. This is restaurant perfect color. cooking, and, and I will tell you, What's nice, because of the size of this pan, it's four and a half quarts. It's gotta be, it's probably three inches deep, I would say, three inches deep. It's three inches, yep. Most cast iron pans are about two inches deep, right? And yep. they're smaller. Yep. You'd be lucky if you get three quart. This is a four and a half quart. What that enables you to do is any other kind of dish that you want. 100%. You could do cakes in here. Yep. In fact, you wanna bake Giant a cake corn and get breads. a perfect cornbread. Yep. Perfect golden, because it's not gonna have hot spots. Yep. Bake your cakes in here. You'd be amazed. I, you know, I, first thing I wrote here is the ultimate total everything pan. And that depth, you're Deep right. Deep frying. You're frying because you've got the depth. The four and a half quarts is one thing. The three inches is another. That now turns it into Dude, you're your donuts. fryer. Now check this out, guy. These donuts are right from my fridge. They are cold. They're going into my oil. You can see from the bubbles, the temperature of my oil isn't dropping because cast iron is keeping and retaining that heat. So when I say cast iron gets hot and stays hot, I mean it for searing, I mean it for braising, yeah. I mean it for poaching, I mean it for frying. There's a reason why grandma used to do fried chicken in cast iron, because as you fry in batches, the temperature of your oil isn't dropping. So you're gonna see even color on those donuts, on your fried chicken, yeah. whatever you're frying, especially if you're frying in batches, the oil temperature stays constant, those bubbles remain. And chef, oil temperature when you're frying is yep. everything, right? It, absolutely, if your oil drops, yeah. It sucks Saturate, into your feet. Yeah, that's, that's the that's whole thing. That's when you like, get greasy when, stuff. When you've had like crispy fried calamari, yeah. you know at that place downtown, wherever you go and you're like, gosh, they do that call. The calamari is fresh in any good restaurant. It should be fresh. It's not the calamari. It's how they're cooking it. Mm -hmm. and, and the way that they're cooking it. I know because we yep. used to have to, we changed the oil every, every day and a half, every two days. We'd change all the oil out of the fryers, yep. right? You have to. So it's the oil, 
but it's the temperature of the, the temperature. oil that gives it that crisp. Because you, especially with things like calamari, you have Look to cook that. that, it's rubber bands. Yep. Donuts, they get saturated. These are perfect little pillowy clouds. Look at those. And you know, when you think about it, Guy, I've said this for so long, cooking is all about two things, time and temperature. And when your temperature stays constant, you get constant, even results. There is a reason why, if you notice, out of all this food that we've been cooking in real time, the browning is even because the yeah. temperature is even. Exactly. And if, you, if you're cooking, whether you're baking, you're frying, you're searing, or anything, and you notice your results are not coming out even, it's because you're not getting even temperature. Cast iron gives you that perfect conductivity of yeah. heat, and that's what you want. And you'll notice donuts are almost done, right? When they stop bubbling, about two, three minutes. that means they're good to go. Yeah. While you're doing that, let me show colors again. I gotta tell you, we are really busy. It takes about 15 minutes, Look and everybody's like, how are they doing a four and a half quart cast iron brazier for $34? Well, guess what, gang? Kitchen <laughs> HQ is our brand. We control all the aspects of manufacturer distribution, all that stuff. So we're able to keep the prices low. That's, that's why other things get expensive because if they're imported from Europe, they gotta be shipped here. That pretty much doubles the price, right? Think about cars <laughs> here. You get a Mercedes in Germany, it's half the price, right? Try to get them, you know, you get over here, we control the brand. If you want that rose, Andre, how many left? 370 left in rose. If you want it in the blue, I got about 800 left in the blue. Red is one of the most popular. I'm on, I'm on the fence about maybe getting red because I have some red appliances, but I'm not a matchy-matchy guy, so I'll go there, but you can also get the red. If you don't know what color to get, get black, right? Black goes with everything, it's perfect, right? You will get the lid, you will get the little silicone handles to go with it. This is called teal, all right? Great color. Hey guys, we're approaching 20,000. Crazy, get this home. And, and you know what's great too, Chef? Yeah. This is the best time of year to get it. We are in September. Yep. All those meals that maybe you didn't cook in the summer because you didn't want to heat yep. up the house. Yep. Well, now it's getting cool. All right, it's not getting this cool is... here, but it will be getting cooler. You know, in a month, we're going to be talking, it's Florida, for God's well, sake. You know what I'm talking about. Still, but coming to holiday time, hey, this is it. You can give me a pot roast. I will eat pot roast outside <laughs> in July. <laughs> if it's really good, I don't care. But the point is, it's fall's coming, y'all, and everybody wants to get the ultimate cooker. And this is a breakfast pan. By the way, Look at that. you want to fry eggs in here? You want to do omelets in here? Absolutely. It's nonstick. Look at that. Look at those clams you're making me so... Opening in real time. Mm -hmm. You get the did you wine. Put, did you put... What do you call it in there? What wine? Well, no, what's your veg? Oh, fennel. I knew you put that. That's fennel. what I was going to say. That, that's half the battle. I'm like, I'm still on that. Little onion, little bit garlic, little the fennel, anise. a little anise. Oh now you get the gosh. white wine. Like we said, old school cast iron, you're not cooking wow. with white wine. It's too acidic. Here, I can go with white wine. I can go with lemon juice, yes. right? Yeah, because normally that reacts with raw cast iron. That's Even right. cast iron that's seasoned, it'll eat away the seasoning. Can't do it. And then it doesn't work with your, with your acidic dishes. It's off-putting, you're not gonna like, you just don't do it. So that's why we put the non-stick in. Plus, have you ever tried to clean a non, you know what they clean a lot of non-stick pans? With wire mesh scrubbers. Yeah. In yeah. a restaurant, that's yeah. the only way to clean them. You clean this out with a sponge. It's non-stick, extra heavy. All right, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna, cause I wanna be transparent with you guys out there. Dang, it doesn't, how could you guys not put the weight on this pan? Nine pounds, I found it. It feels only good. The reason I'm telling you that is, you got two handles on either side. It is not much that heavier than a traditional large pan, like a stock pot, but it cooks so much better. It sits on the stove or it goes in the oven. I didn't even tell you, it's oven safe to 500 degrees. Yep. You need, when you're doing things like roasts and you wanna caramelize the outside, you yep. need to have that high heat, okay? That's why we do it. That's why cast iron is a brilliant pan to have. A lot of people do, got away from them because they're like, well, they're heavy and they're hard to take care of. They're not hard to take care of if you add the right features. If you put an enamel coating on the outside yep. and you put that nonstick on the inside. Oh yeah. We are giving you the lid. You're giving you the handles. I have two minutes left. If you want to order quickly, use your remote. Use your, go to hsn.com. Take your camera out, use the app or take a picture. Don't take a picture, but hold your camera phone with the phone on, up to that little squiggly box at the bottom down there, under Chef Shahir, and it'll lock right in and you can order it that way. Get the color that you want. I'm telling you, 
Universal pan. You can use, I can't think of one thing. Even pizza, I would do it here. You could use it as a pizza stone. Imagine the crust you get you on it. You could use it as a pizza stone oh. on your barbecue up to 500. And when you think about what we just did, Guy, we've seared, we've steamed, we've poached, we've roasted, okay. we've fried, fried. And all of it's the same. The, the principle is the same. The temperature has remained constant. Yeah. That's why we have even browning, even color, even texture. This is what you want. Hey, let me ask you a question. Yes. I know you've been around, you've done your, yep. done your tour duty. <laughs> is there any southern cook worth anything that would fry chicken in anything but cast iron? You gotta have cast right? iron. And, I'm and from the north, so I don't, but I'm got, asking. And they always fry in cast iron for even temperature, but you'll notice that even, yeah. like I said earlier, when you're frying in batches, Look at this chicken. your oil stays the same temperature. Look you could fry chicken and then take it out, add more chicken, and the yeah. oil will stay yeah. the same. That's half the battle. So you're frying, you're baking. By the way, hsn.com, check out some of those recipes I put up for baking. Sure. Cobblers, focaccias, sourdough breads. You're baking, you're frying, you're braising, you're searing, yeah. you're roasting, like it is an everyday pan. And you'll find too that you can use lower cooking tempers, uh, temperatures on your stove. Yep. Because once this comes to temperature, it holds it. It doesn't need to be accelerated yep. with the burner. Yep. Like you have to do with stainless pans a lot. You have to keep turning it up, turning it down. Very easy to control the temperature. I recommend that if you don't have a, a uh, thermometer, always a great thing when you're deep frying. Yep. I know we carry a bunch. I think Curtis has a wonderful thermometer. Yep. I think I own that one. We may even have a Kitchen HQ one. Yep. So Some check it out. Ones, for sure. But get it home. Look at the beauty. Look at the olives and the chicken. And by the, the pasta. way, we designed it to go stove top to table or oven to table. Oh, we, we also man, mentioned this earlier. Good. Because it has great heat conductivity, it's gonna stay hot on the table. So like those poached eggs that we did, you know, 15 minutes ago, they're still wow. steaming, right? Yeah. The pot roast that you got into about still 15, hot. 20 minutes ago is still hot. Yeah. So it's oven to table, stove top to table, not just because it looks great, mm. but because it's cast iron, it's gonna keep Good. the heat in the dish. Or put the lid on, it's gonna keep the heat even longer because it's airtight. We're gonna do this one more time in the next hour. Color red, black, teal, white, rose, or blue, all right? Our low price, $34.99, the last today's special in a piece of cookware for the rest of the year. Stock up, buy it for yourself. Don't forget to check out hsn.com. We're gonna continue yep. with Now That's Tasty. All Beekman is on sale. And remember with Beekman, don't they always do free